Hello and welcome to another other video of Yocto tutorial series. In this video, we are going to learn a bit about kernel development. So we are going to cover out of the three kernel module and what is it. Then we will see a detailed example of uh, out of three kernel module. And then uh, we are going to learn about the mode probe and RM mode commands. So before we go further, uh, please like and subscribe my channel and uh, please uh, comment uh, if you want to ask anything or if you would like to share your thoughts about the video so let's begin so now what we are going to do is we are going to build a hello world kernel module so what is a module a module is actually a driver but it is not inside embedded in, inside the kernel image for example in inside the Z image or U image if we build a uh, a driver is a module so it is an extra file a ko file kernel object file that will be stored uh, or that will be saved in the final in the root file system but not in the u image or z image an image that we are any kernel image that we are using so so kernel is this module is simple a driver but outside the kernel not inside embedded inside the image final kernel image i mean okay now so right now we are inside this my layer meta my layer so for the example uh, the pokey itself provide a sample an example for this and it is inside meta dash skeleton so if you go meta dash skeleton inside this will go recipe kernels here we you see that we have this hello mode we will copy this hello mode to our layer so we'll go back to our layer meta my layer and then here inside recipe kernel and here we'll paste it so cp minus avr the paths and hello world module and here so now we have the whole module here let us see what is inside this module this uh, folder or this recipe we'll do tree hello world mod so here we have our files first of all we have a, a recipe dot bb file for this module then we have a make file then we have a hello dot c and this is the license file so let us check first of all what is inside hello mode dot bb so we'll go here and we'll see what is inside this so this is the very short file so first of all we have a summary a licensing a license file then we have a make file a hello c file that these two files are important because this is our sample kernel module you will see in a while then there's the r provides if you don't know what is r provides or how does it work please watch my video on r provides so actually it provides an alternate name for the same module if we want to build then what we have here is a that the inherit module class will be automatically named the module package with kernel module as a prefix so okay so that's the other thing so here you see that we don't have any do compile or do install or do anything function or task build task but what do we here have is a inherit module so this is the thing that does all the magic let us see what is inside this inherit module so let us go back to meta inside meta if you go inside meta classes and here if you open module about the classes I'll make a future video and also about the inherit what is it so we'll do in the future video so here's the code that does all the magic it has all the things required to build a kernel module so we don't have to do anything or we don't have to write anything extra right now so here we have all the things so yeah now let us check
here so code hello world dot c and make file so first of all we have here we have here a hello world dot c code this is a simple variable module it is module dot h so yeah it is if we load the module it will print hello world and if we unload the module or remove the module it will print goodbye cruel world in the kernel space so let us see the make file so make file is simple it has the name of the module what it will build then the source paths to build the module and this path is uh, yocto specific path we can give here like kernel source and it is defined uh, in uh, bb bb file bb module or bb class file and here is the, the staging kernel directory so it is the kernel directory is the path given so if you want to modify any path but I, I would say that don't modify anything here just just uh, adopt this for your if you want to build some other module or some your custom module so maybe in the next example I will show you how you can build our own out of uh, tree module not from this example but another example we'll see by making some changes but yes you can see that it makes the module here's how it installs the module we have to install the module so it is the kernel source and the source we have to install the module and all but the all magic is done by this inherit module so now to build this what we need to do is simply we need to do image dot ins install append hello mod because this is the name of the recipe so this is how we will install the module so now what we need to do is we need to build the image uh, before building yeah hello world we'll say tab let's take a byte saying saying hello world he also will do like this so we know that yeah this is not something else but our that the module that we built so now what we will do is we will do we will build our whole image so bit pick core image full command line ok so this will take a while and I'll wait till this image whole image is built and I'll be back after the completion so now the build has been completed and uh, now I will connect the, my setup to the beagle black and then we will test if it is working or not so now I am inside Beaglebone Black and uh, to find our module, where our module is, we have to go to the path. The path is lib. Uh, first of all, this forward slash lib modules, the name of the kernel that we are using, extra. So here you can see that we have hello.ko. And now let us test it. Let's go back and now we'll do mode probe hello so as you can see that it has been executed and we don't see here any output because the output is in kernel space so we'll do is d message and then pipe function and then tail and here you can see that it's saying hello loading out of tree module tain kernel here says tab saying hello world so now we are inside hello world and uh, we have successfully loaded the module now let us see ls mode so here you can see that this module has been loaded but now let us unload or remove so for that it is rm mode and we will say hello so again we will do the message tail and you see that this time the module has been removed and it says tap saying goodbye cruel world and if we check ls mode so it is no more here so this is all about how we can add out of tree module 
out of free kernel module to our image to our build system and i hope you like the video please like and subscribe my channel and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching